All right. See you from Michigan. Right. Detroit. Yes. What's your take on the whole waters thing that's going on? What is it, you know? Uh, it's a lot of people to blame for it, you know, but I think somebody needs to be uh, responsible, held responsible for it. That'd be nice. Yeah, it's going to take a long time for it to get it fixed because they said it's going to be like, I think, $2 billion to rebuild the infrastructure sure. for the water. Yeah, well, 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 wait, let me ask you this. You've been in the Detroit area for how long? Um, mostly my whole life. Good. So you've seen a lot of changes. You've seen it go from a real good industrial uh, city to like now that you know a lot of people have left. Right. Those areas that now are like Flint, and uh, wouldn't it be better to just turn them back into, I mean, just give up on them basically, and and have people move to more, where it might be a smaller city, but at least it wouldn't be as spread out where those you know. They couldn't get uh, because those people in places like that they had nowhere else to go. Where would they go? Well, that's what I'm saying. They, you know, the if there's going to be any construction, if there's going to be a place, make it more to. Because from what I understand, correct me if I'm wrong here, downtown Detroit seems to be okay. I mean, you, yeah, downtown's pretty. Yeah, I mean, I, I understand it's gone through a renaissance and things mm -hmm. like that. Is that correct? Yes. yes. Oh, wonderful. All right, what do you What do you do back there? What do you? I'm an automotive painter. Oh, good. All right, terrific. Um, you're okay with your water? Everything's cool? Our water is the best water in the country. Oh, good. Detroit has the best water supply in the country because it comes from Lake Huron, the freshest water supply any of us have. Terrific. Yeah. All right. And that's cool. what Flint did. They switched over from Flint water, right. so, I mean, the, from Huron water supply to um, the Flint River, which Flint River looked like the Mississippi. Right, <laughs> right, like right, it. right. And that's what they did. They tried to go from some old infrastructure they had built like 40 years ago and try to use an Asta without testing the water properly and the water messed right. up in yeah, that's what's water in the, the lead news. pipes. I was writing a news article today that, of course, that was bas it's basically just the tip of the iceberg. There are many cities that have water problems, and New Orleans is one of them. Mm -hmm. We have, you know, I mean, for every, you know, it's not like we have new homes around here. So we got the same kind of problem with the pipes, Katrina. I mean, there's a right. lot of things here that are still, you know, we're, most of us underwater anyway. Right. So that you know, we have, we haven't got the aquifer that you know, and we are getting our water out of the Mississippi. <laughs> oh yeah, really? Oh yeah. Have you looked at that water? Well, I, I, I don't even like bathing <laughs> I, in it, you know. Man, no, wow. uh, but plus you understand that they do things like even aquifers like under Texas, some of the again some of the purest water around, mm -hmm. they take pure water, put it through a plant, and that add chlorine, chlorine mm -hmm. and fluoride to it, mm -hmm. making it poisonous. Yeah. Well, I I wouldn't know about that. But oh yeah, yeah. I know that. It's a certain, this federal, a certain federal man that you have to treat the water with to take out all the impurities to make sure there's no um, corrosion in the water so it won't yeah, but why ta Yeah, I understand that. that that's understandable, but putting fluoride in it? I don't know. No, um, yeah, that's what they do. I mean, that's how they got to clean it. But fluoride is a known toxic waste. There are laws you against... You to brush our teeth every day. Well, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's, 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 what, that's what I'm saying. It's a known toxic waste. But it's not lead. What? Lead does a, it's no, not no, lead. no, 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 no. It is. Much more. If you look this up, there are, it's a byproduct of the fertilizer and aluminum manufacturing industry. There are laws against dumping it in the ocean. Okay. It is the main ingredient in rat poisoning. Okay. Uh, Yet, yes. it was sold to our government because it is a toxic, it is a poison. Mm -hmm. Yes, it kills germs. It kills the good germs, the bad germs, and the in-between germs. It kills everything. So you're saying we're a germ. No, I'm saying <laughs> is, if it's for our teeth, why are we drinking it? Uh, you got me, but I don't drink tap But here's another question. But here's another question for you. Being that it's a known toxic waste, right. there are laws against regular. I mean, you know, if we, you and I put it in the water, they arrest us for terrorism. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Right. We're not. But our government puts it in. Now, here's the thing: being it's a known toxic waste, 
in order to prescribe, you'd have to prescribe it. If you're a doctor, you'd say, oh, I think you need some fluoride, and I'm going to prescribe it. I mean, you'd, right? That's correct. So what right does our government have to mass medicate us with anything by dumping fluoride in our water when they cannot control the dosage? I would have to say it's the way they've been cleaning water for years. No, 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 no. Yeah. This started, do we care where it came from? Yes. This is the Nuremberg trial. Yeah. Hitler had got his scientist and intelligence agents together and said, I want you to come up with something we can put in the water that would dumb down the masses. They started experimenting with this with the concentration camps, putting fluoride in the water, and this is what they found, which was backed up by a July 2012 Harvard Medical Science study. That when you add fluoride to the water, IQs drop as much as 20 points, and the prisoners were more docile and easier to handle. Right after World War II, a thing called Project Paperclip brought over about 36,000 Nazi scientists and intelligence agencies, and we put them to work for us. Right after that, that fluoride showed up in our water. This is all documented. You can look it up. Project Paperclip. Look up fluoride. I'll give you some information on fluoride. It's not just an accident that they're poisoning us. Thank you.